Good morning, everybody. Happy Columbus Day. Happy Canadian Thanksgiving Day from the kitchen, just live streaming with the <clears throat> with the Samsung, the incomparable Samsung Galaxy Nine Plus. <laughs> <laughs> welcome into the uh, welcome into the Rancho Kitchen today for a Rosie Murphy live stream event. I uh, recently went to the uh, dollar store. Missy Jen and I uh, I picked up a few things for us to to test here, and one of them was the Maria Callender's blueberry muffins. Good morning, cupcake. Hello, neighbor care. Oh no, nightbot care. I picked this up. You'll see it backwards because I'm on the back of the camera here. Remember, the front-facing lens gives the proper uh, appearance of things. The rear-facing lens is always going to turn things around. Hi, Kathy. Nice to see you. So I thought we would might want these up today. I hope you're doing well today. Yeah, I think they're going to look pretty good. There's only a dollar. It makes, uh, it says it makes six muffins. Let's see, I mean, Maria Calendar is pretty well known out here in the West. I'm not sure about the rest of the country. Can you make my pancake? Yeah, I think you can make pancakes with these too. Hi, Cheryl, how are you, sweetheart? Nice to see you. Just add more milk. I think that's probably correct. Uh, yeah, it, I think the batter is the same. Right, although they don't have anything for making, uh, they are microwavable, which I can't imagine. I don't, I'm not, I'm not much into uh, microwaving baked goods and stuff. Hey, Harvey, good morning to you. I should say good evening in the UK, and once again to our many Canadian friends and the many, 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 many hundreds and hundreds of Canadian subscribers on the channel. I do wish you guys. A very happy Thanksgiving Canadian thing. I'm all itchy today. It's, it's the allergy season. I'm going to have a cup of coffee. I've got some of these nice Reynolds baking cups. They're a little more decorative. Voodoo! You need a good break today. There you go. Nice to see you, Voodoo. I'm making some blueberry muffins. I'm using this Maria Calendar mix. I'm not sure if, nation, if Maria Calendar is nationwide, if it's something you guys know in the East. But it's big out in the west here. So I think you get this for the buck. This is, uh, what is this? This is almost half a pound of mix here. So kind of excited about uh, making these. I got these nice Reynolds metal baking cups. Go ahead and uh, preheat our oven according to the directions here. Marie Callers used to be a yeah, it used to be a restaurant here too. Uh, let's see. Preheat oven to 400 and line six muffin pins with pa cups with paper liners and then whisk together. We're going to add an egg, a third of a cup of milk, and two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Well, one thing I can tell you guys. When you use, hi kitty, it's national brand, okay, been watching late. Yeah, I've enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun on last night's hangout. It was a lot, a lot of fun. You know, I don't, people think, oh, you and the birds are going to get, you know, birds is going to be birds, right? It's all good. So, sit this back over here. Got me bowl. Here, I'm going to empty the contents here. I can tell you one thing about using vegetable oil. It makes a much more tender baked product. And that's for sure. Of all the things you can use, butter, shortening. I really believe that uh, oil makes the softest. Okay. Yep, glad you survived. Hey, look. You know, I'm the most chill person on YouTube. Nothing's ever going to fluster me. I can sit there going round and round with birds till the cows come home. George! What are you squabbing? Domino! Look who's here! Domino! What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Oh. Domino's like the Eddie Haskell. At 6 a.m. he's here. 
Better tastes better. Butter tastes better, though. I think it does taste better. I probably got to pull that closer. There we go. I just don't like the way. Well, I, uh, Andrea, how you doing, sweetheart? Doesn't bother me. I talk to him the same way. So, you know, we're both city people. He's from Jersey. I'm from Maryland. All right, I'm going to pour that into the bowl. There, and we're supposed to add two tablespoons of vegetable oil to that. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. Uh, nothing bothers me about that kind of stuff. I got some uh, canola oil. I'm going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of canola oil here. Oh, I better preheat the oven. Don't leave me this way. I don't know why I got Thelma Houston on my mind. Don't leave me this way. Take my skillet out from baking the bread. Got all kinds of shit in there. I'm gonna have to clean that up later. Just putting ice cubes in there. You can see how dirty that got. What the hell? All right, we're gonna pop this to 400 here. that's one we're gonna put the convection we're gonna put the light and the fan on I gotta really have to clean this oven when we get back from San Diego I'm gonna have to really do a number I've had this for I don't know cupcake how many years have I had this damn stove 2000 2012 I mean I was eating on a, a hot plate for the first year when I was doing all the renovations and stuff here. Ellie says I should go ahead and get a tune-up for it. I never even knew that they tuned up the stoves and stuff. I guess they check it for verifying. Yeah, I think probably more like, uh, more like five years maybe. Hey, hey. Hey, I'm Bailey. Nice to see you. Yeah, I didn't know that. I've never had a stove. You know, I never had a really fancy stove. I really paid up for this one. Uh, you're such a flirt. I don't think you're as big a flirt as I am, Harvey. I've got my, what I call my parade of a hundred, a hundred beautiful YouTube women. Okay, so there's the two tablespoons of that. All right. Uh, yeah, so we'll see. I'll talk to Allie about that. She said it costs about 90 bucks to have somebody come in and uh, about 90 bucks to have somebody come in and tune up the uh, tune up the oven. Uh, yeah. Well, you know me, Harvey. Always love my ladies on here. I put a hat on, I'm tired of this hair flying all over the place. All right, that's preheated. My poor San Francisco Giants here. Huh? Cupcakes like we both had kind of tough years, but you had a hell of a better year than we did. All right. All right, we got the, uh, what do we got? The two tablespoons of oil in there. Oil. We got the oil in. Cupcake calls me Tits McGee. Cupcake, it was nice to hear you got uh, such a good uh, reports on your uh, on your meds and stuff. That was outstanding. Love Cupcake. One of my favorite people on planet YouTube. Now I'm supposed to get um, shake them, baby. Anything in the post? No, not yet, Harvey. And today's a holiday, so we're not going to get any mail. 
delivery. Let's see, one large egg. We did get our beach umbrella, didn't we, Jen? We got our big beach umbrella. This thing isn't light. This is a hell of a, look at this thing. This ain't no stripper pole. This is a big umbrella here. This ain't no lightweight peanut. Nine foot. What do you think, Jen? That is a big, big umbrella, nine feet across. High quality fabric, polyester can, eight aluminum ribs for extra strength. So I'll have to set up in the morning on the beach. Then uh, Missy Jen can come down the last thing. Cool, it's got a nice collar to it. See, it doesn't have a carrying thing there. So I've got a carrying like that. That's a heavy umbra. Gotta make sure Missy Dan is protected from the sun down there. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and pop an egg. Whoa, whoa! What's the growling about, George? Okay, I'm just asking. Jen, you have to be so very mean every morning to me. Uh, all right. Pop one egg in. Uh, yeah, everybody said hi, Missy Jen. Missy Jen. Missy Jen said hi. She's very grumpy in the morning. Hi, Carrie. Good morning to you, sweetie. Now, what are we supposed to have? A third of a cup of milk. I think I have an exact third cup measure here. Somewhere. That's a half of a cup. That's a cool, there, there's a third of a cup. Look at that, a perfect one third of a cup measure. Right there. Uh, New Zealand calling, Stephanie. Drama, drama, drama is my middle name now. That right, Domino, one third of a cup of milk. Drama is my middle name. Okay, in goes the milk. Ah, drama, what drama? Last night, last night was unbelievable. I ended up on some new community's hangout last night. It was pretty damn cool. Did you say hi to everybody, Domino? Did you say hi to everybody? Oh, what are you doing today? Oh boy. What are you doing? I'm gonna I would have named this dog Eddie Haskell. Domino, I'm gonna start calling you Eddie. How about that? Because you're like Eddie Haskell. You're always here at six o'clock in the morning and out of here at midnight at night. Three in the morning, we're still goofing around. My two cats say, meow, we all have grumpy days. And I did hi. After you sent my daughter to Dollar Tree to get that chicken stuff. Not too bad, is it? I'll tell you, for a buck just to have a little snack like that uh, chicken spread, pretty darn good. huh? It's got the little pickles in that chicken salad and stuff. We got some other crap we got to try. Wednesday. Sunny sea sardines. 
Gonna give them a whirl. Movie bug! All the insects. That's it. No, we don't have any bugs out here. It's too dry. We have just bees and a few flies. It's just, it's very dry here. We don't have too many. We don't really, we do have a mosquito control group. Okay, let's mix this together. Stir until just ingredients are thoroughly moist and bunk. Butter will be lumpy. Wasn't lumpy on uh, Leave It to Beaver too, wasn't he? Lumpy Rutherford. It's all coming together today. I got Eddie Haskell and I got lumpy. <clears throat> lumpy Rutherford. Alright, let's go ahead. Let's mix this together. We're not going to over mix this batter. Lumpy. Don't you remember that Kathy? Kathy's Vintage TV. You know that there was Lumpy Rutherford, right? Lumpy's father had the uh, was bald-headed and had the glasses on. I don't think I ever saw Eddie Haskell's parents. I think Eddie was just spontaneously arrived on the street or something. So there it is. Okay, I'm not going to overbeat that. Uh, I'm not going to overbeat that batter. Let's go ahead. We got our nice foil cups here. All right, we'll take some. Uh, how much are you supposed to? Um, fill muffin cups three quarters with batter. I will be out this afternoon on the O'Kelly channel. I will be doing another uh, hood walk today. All right, let's, let's try filling these up. Once again, happy Thanksgiving to all of the Canadian subscribers on the channel here. Love you guys. to make six of these. I couldn't even I couldn't even count properly. Hey Jeremy Jagger, oh how are you sweetie? Could I finally make it to another live? Sending love. Project Dorton, how are you sweetie? I've been enjoying hanging out on uh, Doug Doug's uh, cookie streams. Let's see. Nice to see Project Dorton in the house. Yeah, do, uh, Project Dorton, make sure you're subscribed to my Rosie O'Kelly channel, too. That's usually where the shit shows all happen over there. Let's see, or else if I get, uh, if something happens to that channel, that I do this stuff over here. All right, let's try to separate and get another one of these here muffins. I like these aluminum Reynolds cups with the paper liners. Shirley Jones in Oak. I like Shirley Jones in Elmer Gantry. Probably a movie you haven't all heard about. Mama Bear should watch it. <clears throat> and Shirley Jones, you want to talk about sexy in a movie? Shirley Jones in Elmer Gantry was beyond belief. Yeah, wasn't she? You check out Elmer Gantry and her, she played a prostitute in that. Uh, wasn't that classic movie buff? I mean, you want to talk about beautiful movie buff notes. Shirley Jones in Elmer Gantry was just, was off the chain. It was a great movie. I think uh, that was uh, Burt Lancaster's uh, Oscar was for Elmer Gantry. And that was kind of modeled after Sister Amy McPherson, which I told Mama Bear about. She was the first big time radio preacher and stuff in the 19, 1920s, started in LA. It's still going strong. It's called the Church of the Four, the Four Square Gospel Church. 
and long before Oral Roberts was big time and all these other radio preachers, you had Amy Semper McPherson. She was really the first, and nobody's ever heard of her. She was an early rock star on the radio. She had the first real syndicated radio network, too, across the U.S., 1926 and stuff, so. She was big time, my friends, big time. And that's what I think the movie Elmer Gantry was loosely based on her life. Hey, Beryl. Misdemeanor. Hi, baby. I wanted to go. Hi, Debbie Davis. I wanted to go to, uh, when I was down in L.A., I wanted to go over to the Angelus Temple, which was the temple that she founded. It's a huge, huge building. I think it seats 3,000 people. And she used to pack them in in the 1920s into that building. That's still gone strong today, that church. But I didn't want to, you know, it was kind of our last day in Michigan. We were a little tired, so I didn't want to overdo, overdo it. Okay. Got our uh, muffins all in. We're waiting for the oven to heat up. I'm making some. Uh, I'm making some blueberry muffins today from the Marie Callender mix. Got this at the dollar store. You just have to add uh, one egg, a third of a cup of milk, and two tablespoons of oil. To it. Uh, I love muffins. I don't have them too often. How you doing, Debbie Davis? Nice to see you, sweetie. Just cleaning up a few things, waiting for the oven to get a little hot. Misdemeanor, how are you doing today, sweetie? I don't know why I can't get Thelma Houston out of my mind today. Uh, blueberry muffins. Emmy's going to end up with you if she doesn't stop talking about stuff from get Uh, well, you know, Kathy, she's going to have to be responsible for that kind of stuff, you know? I guess maybe she sees it as helping. Some people saying, yeah, helping yourself. I just don't know. I feel real bad that Gary's on his way out. But, uh, you know. We got a hurricane. Yeah, I saw you guys got a hurricane coming in. Burl said you inspire me. Yorkshire packing. Good for you, Burl. Yeah, see, this is the hurricane that could come in fast and do a lot of damage to Florida here. So you guys are going to be in my thoughts and prayers for sure. Uh, yeah, we're still pretty early. Uh, not early, but we're not exactly late in the hurricane season. All right, so we got our cupcake uh, holders all filled up here. Now we're going to go ahead. They say you can add a quarter of a cup of fresh blueberries to the mix. I mean, what the hell? It's already got blueberries in it, right? I guess if you want to spike it up. 12 to 14 minutes. Uh, put our... I usually like to split the difference in 13 minutes here. Yeah, I'm a little nervous about this hurricane now. Got a lot of people in Florida, a lot of YouTube people down in Florida. Don't leave me this way. You know what, guys? We're still harvesting tomatoes like crazy here. <coughs> Uh, we'll be harvesting tomatoes right up until Thanksgiving. Uh, yeah, it's a mirror image. See, people don't understand when you use a cell phone camera, if you're using the back-facing camera, which is the one that people use to vlog, generally, because they're holding a selfie stick or something like that, or you have it on a stand like this one, then everything's going to be reversed. If you do the front-facing camera, everything is going to be optically correct. 
If they don't have a, a optical correction for a rear-facing camera, it would cause the, you know, to be a whole new level of processing. I'm gonna get a cup of coffee. We gotta clean this. Uh, we gotta clean out this uh, cast iron. Get a cup of coffee here. We got this Southgate beef stew we're going to be trying. Southgate Foods down in Nashville, Tennessee. Used by May of 19... Used May 1924. I guess that's still good. Huh? Oh baby, my heart is full of love and desire for you. Uh, worse than cho I know that was a terrible noise. I'm sorry, guys. We still got some of this beautiful bread left over from the lasagna last night. It look nice. Love to make good homemade bread. Norman Kidney. Nice to see you, Norman. not going to hit me again, are you? Just kidding. We got the muffins in, Jen. They're already underway. Everybody's hi, Missy J. Yeah, movie Bob stuff. Elmer Gantry. Y'all got to check out that movie. <coughs> I wonder where y'all got that. Y'all at high How's everybody doing? How's it going? Norman. Norman Gibney. Harvey. Kathy. Kathy Vintage Just TV. Just a minute. You know it's going to be a good Debbie hand. Vintage. You got Kathy Vintage TV. Kathy. Movie Buff. Debbie Davis. Carrie. Movie Buff. Stephanie Kent. Our Kathy. pal from down Eddie. in New Zealand. For many Stephanie. years. Stephanie. Mark. Sharon. Thanks, Lord. Kisses to y'all. There's so many of you oh. that are near to me. I'm not sure who you are, but... It's not as much of a shit show as last night on that but, uh, O'Kelly channel. I think we had 260 people yapping on that thing. Thanks, love and kisses to you. From Mr. J. What's up, y'all? Jen, you're not ghetto. Yo, what's up, y'all? Can I please have uh, some coffee? There you go, Norman. Uh, your label is sticking out on your teeth. I'm not surprised. Can I you can fix be, my label? I can be anything you want me to be. Jesus, it's, you know, it's typical Rosie, right? Yeah. Labels sticking out. That's why out I hardly wear there. any clothes, because I really can't mess up my micro bikini. <laughs> Hey Drew, how are you doing? Yeah, Harvey, that's what I usually do too. I cut the, uh, I cut the tags out of the, uh, oh, I buy just like this one here. It's like a tagless. It's got it printed in the, uh, on the shirt. Just buy tagless clothing. Or don't wear any at all. Well, thank you, Mark. Oh, I smell blueberry muffins. Yeah. You smell that? Smell good. I yeah, smell it smells them good, I man. Smell them. They smell good. Uh, yeah, so later on this afternoon, I'll be doing a hood walk. <coughs> And Wednesday, I'll probably be working in the shop. Missy Jen and I got to go up to Walmart and get a few. What did I need from Walmart? Sunscreen? No, I got sunscreen. Or suntan lotion. Man. Something on Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, because we're taking off on Saturday. We'll be live streaming our travels on this channel, not when we're there. 
Yeah. We're on the road on Saturday if you want to go with us. Uh, hey, Jeremy. We'll be live streaming through L.A. and down through uh, Orange County, making our way to San Diego County. We'll have a good time. So let's... Uh, I'm not going to do much in the okay. Central Valley. Not much to see down there on Central Valley. Yeah, it's rather boring. We'll wait till we get over the grapevine into the L.A. Basin, and then we get down there. Maybe we'll see you, Jiro. Ellie! Rose got what we got. Well, I don't, you know, it is what it is. Good morning, Ellie. Nice to see you. I'm going to call and see about getting an oven tune-up for the Fisher Pay Cal here. <sighs> Look who's here. Well... Well, well, Eddie Haskell, Domino, say hi to everybody, Domino. Yeah. Uh, I had mine, okay, we need a new element, so I'm going to do that, Ellie. I'm going to take your advice and get a tune-up, because generally about 99% of what you say turns out to be worthwhile listening to. Not that I ever listen, as Allie will tell you. <laughs> That's why Allie loves me, huh? Allie Gray, you had a bad signal turned off here. Our Walmart is ghetto. This will be my third Ellen. Wow, That's not bad for 15 years. You got a really nice wolf range. All right, let's go ahead and clean this uh, out while we're waiting. Hard to believe I just had ice in this. Never use scouring material on a that. I'm just putting ice in that thing. Uh, that's what I'm going to do, Allie. I'm going to get the, the local guys in here to give this a tune-up here. Because sometimes the uh, pilots light and sometimes they don't. So these stoves need to be taken care of. Uh, oh, raw potato. A sliced potato. Clean that right up. Yeah. If I had a raw potato, I forgot to put the avocado in the salad last night. I love to I love to use a seasoned ugh, love to use a seasoned uh, pan. Yeah, so I'll be out on another hood walk this afternoon. Yeah, so make sure you're uh, on for the weekend when we travel someplace. We'll be doing our road hangouts from here, and then our regular hangouts on the. Uh, O'Kelly oh, channel. Tara's looking forward to seeing this. Uh, I know it's Coop's night, uh, Saturday night. I think we're just going to do a short hangout and uh, then join up with his hangout on uh, Saturday night. I think you'll understand. All right, that's good. Love a good seasoned cast iron here. That should be good to go. Gee, Domino, don't let me get you in the way. Lord. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. You use ice to clean your skin. No, I used ice to uh, create steam when I was making this uh, making this bread yesterday. That turned out real nice with all the pockets in it. Delicious bread yesterday. <clears throat> so uh, you create steam in the oven. You put two cups of ice cubes in a hot skillet in the oven, and that creates a lot of steam. So I use a potato and kosher salt. So yeah, Harvey, it's not quite a ciabatta. Would have much bigger holes in it, but it's a very delicious bread. Really nice, good. One thing I finally mastered after all these years is making a good bread. And that rye bread was so tasty. Oh, oh. I 
have the boss say, oh, I hate rye bread, it's garbage. Sorry, I love rye bread. Uh, I love rye bread, good Jewish rye bread. It's amazing. I clean my stove with hot water and turn and boiling. Yeah, that's okay. I guess that'll work too. I smell blueberries in here. We're about two minutes away. I'm going to take a little peek in here. Yeah, they're looking good. They're going to go a couple more minutes, I think. I'm going to get the oven tuned up too. Make sure the temperature's correct. Jill, hi, sweetie. How are you? Jewel, send me nudies. <laughs> I was making jam last night. I was tired. Went to bed early. Yeah, good. yeah, Ellie, that's cool. You didn't miss anything. It's unusual. But we did come across a good new uh, community news unit. The guy intercepted me when I was live streaming last night. And told me to come over. Really nice guy. I gave the link on the uh, video this morning. Mama Bear critiquing my butt. I love Jewish Oh, it's just delicious. Just delicious. No, it's a, it's a, it's a channel called News Unit, Ellie. If you watch the morning uh, vid on the other channel. There's a guy named News Unit. He used to be a former air, retired air traffic controller. His name's David. 51 years old and he tries to do topical stuff. And he intercepted my stream last night. He was rebroadcasting my stream, which was okay. I mean, he said, come on over when you're done. So I went over and voodoo, voodoo, voodoo and Greg and Blue. We went over and had a hell of a time. So... We got more people coming into the, uh, we got another big uh, community thing here, so. Hey Debbie, how are you, sweetie? Yeah, I think, I don't know what time I was running till two o'clock in the morning, I'm not sure. It's not politically correct to say it, but happy Colombo Day too in the US and happy uh, Canadian Thanksgiving. These things need a little more time. No, Ellie, this guy was really sane. This guy was very curious about, uh, actually his mother, his mother's been following me for a long time and uh, he was, his mother was telling him, oh, you got to check out the Rosie. And they came on and he's like, uh, oh my God, you know, I had my, I had the blue sequined on. <laughs> His name is, it's all one word, news unit, S small, lower case, news unit, news, news unit. drop a link to his channel because I'm on the cell phone. I'm on the cell. Yeah, I got your number. Yeah. I got Debbie's number. I'll drop it in the green room later. Uh, Allie, just remind me if I'm down there. Uh, we're starting to get the rain. Yeah, Drew, is this thing going to be bad or not? Are you setting up a amateur radio center there just in case? These things are slow. I think it's the pan that I'm using, the Analon pan.
give a couple more minutes. I think it's this big Anilon muffin tin I'm using is really some of the problem with one of these some of these muffin tins. This Anilon is really thick, and I think it takes a long time for the heat to the heat to, to get in around the muffins. Ellie, you'll be happy to know that uh, uh, Joey D came up for lasagna and bread last night, gave the full thumbs up on the lasagna. Really turned out nice. Good time. Always a good time when he comes up. You can actually get a glimpse of him on the live stream yesterday afternoon. He popped into the kitchen. He's a very nice guy. United States Air Force retired. A real gentleman. Uh, uh, we're on alert, but it's looking like it would hit Panama City. Oh, okay. Did you watch Real House? I did, Carrie. I, I started out with Real Housewives of Orange County. Yes, Tammy and all them years ago. And I watched uh, The Real Housewives of New York with Jill, and then I started to lose it when it came to The Real Housewives of Atlanta and stuff. Thank you, Mark. Yeah, it's gonna, Panama City's where Kat just moved back to. Wow. That's where Wayne is down there in an RV. That sounds like potential trouble. Okay, I think we can uh, gonna give these one more minute here to brown off. I hope everything. Good morning, Annette. Nice to see you, honey. Yeah, I enjoyed uh, The Real Housewives of Orange County, the original edition. But then remember, all that, uh, all that real estate crash happened and all that crap. So we were dealing with the aftermath of that. My brother lives in uh, Panama City. Yeah, we paid, We just skirted Panama City when we passed on our way to New Orleans from Tampa, from uh, from Tallahassee. <sighs> Misdemeanor says you got to be careful, Misdemeanor. I hope you're good and secured in Panama City because it's going to come right up on the western uh, western handle there. So it ain't no joke. All right, there's our muffin there. Take a look at those babies. Oh, you're heading out tomorrow. Okay, boy, this thing came up suddenly, didn't it? are. Some are high rising, some are low rising. I think I got to get set up over on the table a little bit here so we can uh, we can try these bad boys. Okay, take care, Carrie. They look okay, Jen? Not too even. Some of them rose. Look at that wicked hell. Smells. Yeah, they smell good. Like yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see, Debbie. Reason being is uh, a lot of these packaged mixes just throw a lot of sugar in. Yep, 52 people for a muffin mix. See, Ellie? And they said it could not be done. Turn you guys around here. It's just, all about the muffins. Let's get a couple plates set up, Jen. Everybody wants to see that muffin. Clear off some of this crap on the table. Alright. Everybody wants to see my muffin top, huh? Everybody wants to see that muffin. Ellie's like F yeah, Ellie's like for fuck's sake, we're watching a muffin mix. <laughs> 
I am going to make scratch. Uh, we're going to do something special for Halloween when I get back uh, on the uh, teeny weeny. We'll be probably doing something very special for uh, Halloween. And then I want to make uh, Kipper and Candace requested blueberry muffins. So I'm going to do some scratch and do. I'm going to hack them a little bit and do something special. Salt for mom. All right. Just imagine if I had if I had Ellie's five thousand square foot palace in New Jersey. Right. Ellie's like Rosie, you can serve that in the sun porch. Okay. Excuse me, the solarium. Let me turn off the stove. Load up a couple of these babies. Ellie's like, hello, welcome. <laughs> hello. Put these here. Okay, Missy Jen, you get one high and one medium here. Give them a try. And I get too high. Why? Because I made them. That's why. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jen's looking grumpy. Are you grumpy? No. Uh, are you mad, bro? Or you mad? Or you mad, bro? Or you mad? Or you mad, bro? Domino, I knew you'd be showing up. Here. I'm renaming Domino Eddie Haskell now. Just shows up. All right. Let's try this. Yeah, I think Drew's, Drew is, you know, you never know, this thing could shift position. It's going to come my way. What do they have up there? What, what flavor, not sure. Do they have a hurricane? Yeah, there's one coming into the Panama City. Where's the Category west? Category two or three. West? It's east? coming up fast as a golf. Well, these peeled out of it pretty good. Didn't leave a lot behind. It's kind of nice. Often. Debbie, you can bake, honey. Yeah, it's going to be rocking and rolling in uh, western Florida tomorrow. Surprised it might skirt Drew going up the coast there over Fort Myer. You never know. You never know. Ow. Damn, that's hot. Shit. Fuck. That floor is going to become a dangerous place to go. <sighs> nice to have you guys along. Open these up. Put a little bit of uh, water on them. They Hi, look Sister okay. Earth. Sister Earth, how you doing, sweetie? Nice to see you. Let's go ahead and uh, take a close-up look at the inside. You can see some blueberries in there. That's it. Lynn said, it's all your fault, Rosie. I've caught the baking bug. No, 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 no. Once you start scratch baking, there's no turning back. Bacon from scratch. Shaking and baking. Don't forget Cape Canaveral, too. I'm going to go ahead and put a little butter on these. Got to watch our figure. We got to watch our figure. We just get a little curl of butter there. Okay, there we go. Uh, so Jen, how are you doing? I'm all right. How are you? Who is that? So hi, Ariola said, hi, Lynn Russell. Yes, how are you doing? Hi, Lynn. And we're going to give the Marie Calendar a shot.
Pretty good. Do, 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 do. Not bad. Do, 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 do. Harvey would like to have one. I'll bet Harvey would. That's not all Harvey would like to have. Right, Harvey? Hello, Domino. How did I know that you'd be showing up, huh? <clears throat> very, very can we email you? I didn't see an email. Yeah, it's I can make it like new at gmail.com. It's on my about page of my channel. Twitter's at Rosie O'Kelly One. If you want to follow me on Twitter at Rosie O'Kelly One. Domino, what are you doing? Huh? You coming up to <laughs> you coming up to tell you hi everybody? Uh 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 uh! Don't be licking my muffin. Uh, 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 uh. He just licked your muffin. He licked my muffin. Did you lick my muffin? Huh? Did you lick that muffin? Yeah, yeah. I give you the best part. Ooh. Top side. Yeah, every you. morning, Domino is here. He, uh, every day, 6 a.m. to uh, 2 actually, in the morning. I had to go out this morning at 3 o'clock and send him home. Because he was going crazy out there. Garden. He was going nuts out there. I want to call him Eddie Haskell now because he's like Eddie on Leave It to Beaver. He refuses to go home in the evening. Domino. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Huh? And then at 3 in the morning what he you decides doing? he wants to go home. Huh? What are you doing? But then he doesn't jump the fence back. He are just sits there and barks. Are you mooching? Are you mooching? Huh? Domino. Are you mooching? Yeah, muffin has a different meaning in my house too, <laughs> Debbie. The hell does that mean? Huh? Ask Debbie. Ask Debbie. Debbie wants to get you over in the uh, kitty cat kitty cat room. Yeah, I'm a good example of exercise keeping you in tip-top shape and stuff. Debbie wants to get you over in the kit cat room. Oh, you mean muff diving. Yeah, Missy Jen's got a very dirty mind. Don't you? I was born and raised in Germany and What can I say? There's a pretty open mind. A very open mind. Y'all see my holiday reef? You got... You I got, got a holiday reef. Don't forget this afternoon I'm going to be doing another uh, ghetto walk today. You get raised got with a very open mind. I should go up to the cafeteria for lunch. St. Vincent's, uh... St. Yes, Vincent. it is, Harvey. <clears throat> I used to enjoy that in Germany. After the bodybuilding sessions workout, you go, go in for another 20 minutes. Yeah, Debbie, I should go up to the St. Vincent de Paul cafeteria and have lunch today, huh? Yeah. With all my 400 friends there. You right. put on your old rags and go in there. The Holiday Reef looks beautiful. Thank you. Danger Rosie Ghetto Walks. That's it. Domino, what are you doing? Huh? Domino? What are you doing? 
Domino. You shouldn't really be having this is because this is sweet. have the best egg and custard. There you go. Thank you, Debbie Ariola. So when I lose all of my teeth and I'm half dead, I'll say Debbie Ariola sent me down here to get the egg custard. Problem is the Thanks, Debbie. Hospitals have all the diseases. I love you too. <laughs> I love Debbie. Who else is going to call us when we're leaving Colorado Springs and we're trolling across Western Kansas? Who in the hell? Who in the hell gets us on the phone? Debbie Ariola. You guys got to stop in Russell, Kansas. Woo! That's called looking out for you. That's it. Debbie's like woo. I thought that was. I never forgot Debbie that courtesy. Next time, let us know earlier. You almost chumped this into going into Russell, Kansas. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to have to save these. We're going to just eat these. I'm going to give Missy Jet a high a high riser. I'm going to give a get me a low riser here. We're just going to finish up these muffins. I love Debbie Ariola. She sent us. I still use those tables. Every day, she sent. Oh yeah. I love gifts that you use every you use all them the here time. On the when Sunday. we're having coffee time, we set up those tables coffee outside. Time, yeah. I sent Debbie a nice Sansui uh, stereo. The one that same model that Jeff T. Rowe burned up in his yard out there. Love you, Jeff. And and uh, Sarah thought today. Uh, Jeff's wife's surgery's been moved up, so it's today. All right, we added you to a hangout, so there you go. I'll be the same age as Rosie, 60s and new 30. Yeah. Well, if I ever thought that I would feel this good and be in this kind of shape at uh, 60, bring it on, baby. You got at least 15, 20 more years of Rosie to look forward to. You won't see these shaking up here. They'll be down on my knees. <laughs> and that's like, I'm 63. Cool, Annette. And that's a sweetie. Hey, Jerry D in the house. Joey D, good morning. Tell Ellie how good your uh, lasagna was. We I got hope Ellie you was, had a good drive home. Ellie was making the uh, jelly last night or something. Hope it wasn't too bad with the traffic. Oh yeah, Net won the camera from Vinny. Mm. <laughs> Well, I had, uh, I had two girls, Debbie, and it was murder to get my figure back after that. Mm. Having kids will bust a figure out, I'll tell you. Mm. You're sweet, Mark. Jen in Sorbet. Jen. I don't know how you can be so calm. Harvey, Burge doesn't move my needle at all. You gotta let Burge just have his head, right? It's just Burge being Burge. Dealing with Bergs forever. I mean, I was the first channel he was on, you know. And I, I got a lot of heart for Bergs, you know, and he knows that. I do too. I just do yeah. so. It's not easy being Bergs. <laughs> yeah, there we go, Ellie. Rosie made a damn good lasagna. And Joe does. Joe doesn't even eat much bread. 
And he was like, this is a really nice Italian loaf here. Domino, what are you doing? Mm, Domino, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you coming up to say hi? Huh? Are you happy, boy? You better get off of that butter. Shauna! How you doing, girl? Nice to see you, Shauna. The great Shauna Mail's in the house. I got a lot of talk to the hand friends. <laughs> yeah, I can't put Ellie and Bergs together. That's a very short show, you know, because Ellie's like... <laughs> Two people from Jersey together? Forget about it. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, I'm always happy when Shauna stops by. I'd like to have some of Shauna's freckles, what I'd like to have. A very cute girl. My trans sister. Domino, what are you doing? What are you doing, huh? You're always here. We don't got Billy Vanilli. We'll probably have some of that lasagna again tonight. I got birds repellent. No, the muffins were really, they were good. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. For a buck, I guess you couldn't beat it, but you had to put an egg and a little bit of oil and some milk in there. Sean, I'm not sure. Damn, my tits look big. Jeez, I'm not sure, Sean. They're very sweet. You think they're very sweet, they're muffins, Missy Jen? Uh, no, they're not. Yeah, next time we'll be doing... Uh, I know this is backwards for you guys, but this is Betty Crocker uh, sugar cookie mix. It makes 12 two-inch cookies, so be trying that out. That's uh, a half a stick of butter, a quarter cup and a tablespoon of water. So. Uh, some leftover sausage. Yeah, you got. We gave you some lasagna for the road. Love having Joe here. Joe is now part of the Rancho family official. Right, Jim? We love Joe. Joe brought us that whole bag of stuff, too, like 10 pounds of stuff. Got the Chinese set of uh, dishes. Let me show Ellie this pattern on here. Double luck. Double happiness. Happiness. In case you guys don't know, there's really two Chinas. There's the People's Republic of China on the mainland. And then there's the uh, uh, Republic of China on Taiwan, which is with the nationalists. Uh, the Kuomintang was the nationalists. Chiang Kai-shek and the uh, Kuomintang, the communists, were mainland. And I've spent a lot of time in Taiwan and Taipei, Kaohsiung, Taiwan. It's an interesting place. Uh, the problem for the mainland is when the nationalists fled in 1949 from Shanghai across the Straits, they they took all the treasures of China with them, and they put them all under a big mountain there in, in, uh, outside of Taiwan. Anyway, Joe brought up this beautiful set of Chinaware that was made in Taiwan, and it's got to be in the 60s. Look at that. Double happiness. Tai Chung, yeah, St. Tai Chung, yep. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? It's got the double happiness. 
in there. Absolutely. You'll see it backwards, but it says uh, made in Taiwan, the Republic of China. Joe, what date do you, what date, do you, what, what year was this? You think this was made in the 50s or the 60s? It's nice, huh? Oh, I'm not going to break it. He brought a whole set up. I couldn't right. believe it. Cops and everything. Cops right? stuff works. The whole horns. Yeah, it's really pretty. I love the simplicity of it. I like things that are very simple. And that is really a grand design. And, of course, October 10, 1010 is National Ch Nationalist Chinese Day. Okay, take care, Drew. Love you. Yeah, it might be late 50s. I'm not sure. I just think it's a really, it was a really nice thing of Joe. Late 60s or early 70s. Yeah, so it's really a beautiful, really an elegant pattern. And I'm very proud that Joe, uh, Joe gave that to me. That's a symbol in the middle for double happiness. You'll see that in a lot of Chinese restaurants and a lot of places like that. Eight, eight. Uh, yeah, it's in beautiful condition. I mean, I don't even know if it was ever used. I mean, there's not a mark on, there's nothing here. This has been beautifully fired. It's a very beautiful set. I think they were made, Joe said he thinks the 60s or the 70s on so the quality is really good. This is a very heavy plate. This is not thin. Yeah, Ellie said New Jersey's another planet. <laughs> You'd like a good Chinese buffet. Just a pretty set. You can tell really hand fired. It's got the slightest tiny little bit of imperfections in it, which makes it really nice. You can tell this had to be uh, had to be done by hand and handcrafted. Nice. Very nice. I uh, I will be on a hood walk this afternoon on the uh, O'Kelly channel. Probably be going back to some of the same place I was before, a little bit different over there. Hello, Sweet Meadow. Nice to see you. Yeah, no dishwasher for these. Yeah, I wouldn't put these... Uh, you know, this would just would just be for Christmas or something like that. Or, uh, you know, if I had, you know, like Mid-Autumn Festival or some Chinese holiday, something like that. It would be nice. I got it in the early 70s. Yeah, it's a beautiful set. Beautiful. And I said, Joe, why don't you give that to your family? He said, they're in Massachusetts. He's like, that's a long way to uh, to, to uh, send stuff. And you, you guys are local. And he brought us a whole bag of goodies. We always tell Joe, don't bring anything. I'm not going to embarrass Joe and show you what the hell he brought. <laughs> right, Jen? Fudge, everything. Jelly bellies, shirts. So sweet. People are going to think we just have Joe up here just to have him. I don't think we have Joe up here just for candy. So we get a candy. Show the flowers too he gave us. He brought us a beautiful bunch of flowers, too. Let's see that. Yeah. Okay, Harvey. Look at that. Yeah, I've, we have wonderful friends. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, we're very blessed to have a friend like uh, Joe. 
And the best thing of all, you know, the wonderful thing of all, the United States uh, Air Force retired. Just a wonderful, wonderful person. Sweet Meadows said, hello, Missy Jen. Hello. Hola. Very nice. Yes. Very nice. So I'm going to go about uh, five more minutes or so. Yeah, I mean, he's really... I mean, I'd be embarrassed to share the bag of uh, stuff that he brought up here. German chocolates. I mean, he just... All kinds of uh, fudge and stuff. It's just... Uh, I told Jen, make sure you tell Joe, don't bring anything up. He brought a... Brought a 12 pack of Michelob Ultra. He bought a like a 12 pack of Bud 24. I don't know what they just came fully loaded, right? And now you guys are going to say, Well, now we know why you have Joe come up. <laughs> we'll see Joe in November. I'm going to try to uh sneak in a visit to Reno before the weather really turns. We'll stop and see Joe. Yeah, wasn't that nice, Mark Carter? Beautiful flowers there. I was talking to Mallory Williams, too. I'm going to try to order this glass cabinet to go on the left side. Like a pharmacist steel with glass. I think that'll be a cool thing to put up there. What time is the... Oh, I don't know, Sean. It's probably going to be about... Uh, maybe about 2 or 3 o'clock this afternoon my time so I don't know where you are sweetie if you're I think you're on the east coast I don't remember don't remember where you at let's see where's pickle Rick today huh? I'm about to test my TV dinner for oh you're gonna have a TV dinner Chick, 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 chick. Hi, sweetie. Yeah, we enjoyed some blueberry muffins. Yeah, Joe brought all this, uh, all these treats and stuff for us. Oh, Massachusetts. Okay. Cool. Take care, Harvey. Have a good one. Allie's down there in the green room. <laughs> Pickle Rick's at work. Allie's down in the green room. Millie Vanilli! Oh no, Millie Vanilli. What are you doing, Millie? Huh? Are you a good girl today? Are you hanging out with the rosy girl? Huh? Did you come over to say hi? Huh? Come here. Where are you going? Come here. Huh? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing, huh? That's Millie Vanilli. I'll keep an eye. Yeah, we have a good time. The hood walks. I don't know. Today might be just a downtown walk because it's a holiday. It shouldn't be too crowded downtown. Might just do a downtown walk today. Let you guys uh, walk around downtown Santa Rosa. Don't leave me this way. Does Millie also... No, Millie cannot scale the fence. Millie is unable to do that. So Millie just... Millie looks under the fence. There's a... Underneath the gate, there's a small hole. And Millie's always watching everything that's going on up. <laughs> Jen brings her over, though, so... Got caught lip syncing. That's right, Millie. Remember Nilly Vanilli? Yeah, they got caught lip syncing. That's why when the neighbors first got Millie, they're like, oh, this is Millie. And I called him Millie Vanilli. Millie Vanilli. There's Millie. Millie Vanilli. What are you doing, huh? Don't trick me. Huh? Millie? What are you doing, huh? What are you doing, Millie, open huh? open the gate and then he walks away and then she runs through. No, yeah, well, that's it. Well, that's okay. Millie? 
What are you doing, Billy? Oh no, here comes Domino. Domino! Yeah, you're all grubby. Jumping the fence. Georgie's good. Georgie likes to mix it up once in a while with the... Uh, they played me like a fiddle. Yeah, they played you like a fiddle. They trapped you over there. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, close it down now. Thanks for being on. We made the Marie Callender uh, blueberry muffins. Missy Jen's giving them a thumbs up today. Pretty yeah, good. Yeah, that's pretty darn good. I'm going to give them a thumbs up uh, too. And I'm going to thank you guys for being along. I'll see you uh, see you this afternoon. And then I'm going to have a little video tonight. Sexy, sexy, sexy. I got some... Dawn sent us some stuff, Jen. She got uh, stock, stockings and thigh highs. And she sent some body chains, pasties, and some temp tattoos. So... All right, love you, Jack Thompson. I didn't even see you uh, on here. Love you, babe. Jeremy Davis. Mm. Pride of L.A. Chick. Stay cool in Connecticut there. Norman Guidry. Thanks a lot, guys.